Hi there, I'm Shane from Email Signature Rescue and in this video I'll be showing you how to resolve Gmail's signature too long error message. Gmail enforces a character limit for email signatures of roughly 10,000 characters. Now you may think your email signature can't possibly contain that many characters, but this includes HTML codes such as tables, cells and styling which can't be seen when viewing your email signature. The more information and images that your signature contains means more HTML code for your email signature. Contrary to what most people believe, having a lot of HTML code in your email signature isn't actually a bad thing. Some people believe that a lot of HTML code means the signature is bloated, but in order for email signatures to actually display correctly across all email clients, a lot of code is required to ensure the formatting doesn't break as each email client acts differently to certain code. Now there's good news and bad news. The good news is that we've developed a web extension for both members and non-members, which allows you to use your email signature with Gmail regardless of the size of your signature. The bad news is that you won't be able to use your email signature in the Gmail app for mobile. The reason for this is that the Gmail app pulls in your email signature directly from your Gmail account settings and cannot be manually installed. Let's go ahead and install our email signature using our web extension. Our extension is available for Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and Apple Safari. You can install the extension from our website which is linked in the description or you can find it on the official stores for your web browser. I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm going to go ahead and install the extension here. Clicking this button takes us directly to the official Chrome store. At the top right here, we click Add to Chrome, Approve the permissions, and the extension will be installed. Now, because I'm an Email Signature Rescue member, there's a few benefits with using the extension. In my account, I have unique keys available for each email signature. This key is installed directly into the web extension and syncs with your account. Whenever your email signature is edited, it will automatically update in your web extension, meaning you'll never need to reinstall that email signature. This is great for running things like banner ads and promos, as you can update it as regularly as you like and won't need to reinstall that signature. I'm going to go ahead and copy this key from my dashboard using this button here, and now open up the web extension by clicking this icon up on the toolbar here. As you can see, the web extension is open, I'm going to paste my signature key in the field here and select my email client from the drop-down box just next to it. Select Gmail, click Save Key, and you should receive a message saying your signature has been saved. Now, if I go to my Gmail account and compose a new email, you'll see that the email signature is automatically inserted. The web extension acts as a replacement for Gmail signature settings and should be used instead of their settings, not as well as. Now, if you're a non-member, the installation is just as simple. You should already have an email signature file available. Go ahead and open this email signature file up with Notepad. Just right click it, select Open With and Notepad, and you'll see the signature code there. Highlight the code and copy it, then switch back to our web extension and click Advanced Settings. Here you'll see another button saying Enter Custom HTML Code. Click that, paste your code in, select your email client from the list, and click Save HTML. You can click the Preview Signature button to make sure that it's installed correctly and then switch back to your Gmail account, compose a new email, and you can see your signature is inserted. If you have more than one email account, you'll want to define an email address in the web extension so that it only inserts that signature for that address. Under advanced settings, you should see this field that says use this email signature only with the following email account. Go ahead and enter your email address. Now this will update in real time. And then if you're using an email account that doesn't match that same address, the signature simply won't insert. Our web extension actually works with more than just Gmail, as you may have noticed from the drop down box here. It also works with Gmail, Google Inbox, Yahoo Mail, Outlook.com, Office 365, and AOL Mail. If you find that your email signature isn't inserting, but you believe you've installed it correctly, there's a couple of things you should check. Firstly, disable the web extension and make sure that you have no text in your Gmail signature settings. Click inside the field and press Ctrl A or Command A, then hit Delete or Backspace. Change your signature preferences to use no signature and then save changes. You can then re-enable the web extension and your signature should insert. If you find that after doing this, the signature still isn't inserting, you may have another web extension which is conflicting with ours and preventing it from inserting your email signature. Go through and disable all extensions, excluding ours, then re-enable them one by one until you find the problematic extension. As you can see, our signature was unable to be installed in Gmail's account settings, but we're now able to use it no matter how large our signature is. If 
you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe or follow us on social media. If you had any trouble installing your email signature by following this guide, then feel free to leave a comment below and we'll do our best to help you out.